it's something that characterizes a lot of Japanese people. Uh, there is a normalized or generalized um, uh, standard of clothing. Or some they don't really like uh, physical contact and that. And in my country. It's Katty Cat, and today we are here in Harajuku and we're gonna go and ask foreigners what is the biggest difference between their country and Japan. Let's go and ask foreigners in Japan. So what do you think is the biggest difference between China and Japan, in your opinion? Maybe it's the public courtesy. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are always mm, very polite to you and uh, uh, there is a lot of loo in the public. You need to turn your telephone silent in the chain and uh, yeah, those titles thing. And maybe in China people no so polite sometimes, but yeah, I mean, we, we are improving it well. <laughs> so what do you think is the biggest difference from Japan compared to Texas? Uh, the streets are cleaner. Oh, yeah. And everyone like follows the rules, I guess. Uh, more definitely, exactly what she just said, you know, it's cleaner, it's a lot, although it's crowded, it's very crowded here as well. Comparing Japan and France, especially Paris, what in your opinion is the biggest difference? I won't say that French people are not really nice, polite. because it's not true, but politeness. everybody is always smiling and... There are uh, lots of rules and they follow these rules. Yeah, they are really open-minded, I think. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't well, know if it's good to say that for French people, but... <laughs> It's something that characterizes a lot of think, Japanese people. They're so. always here to help you. That's, that was very appreciat appreciative when we were asking for our, or the way or any indication. Everybody is here to help you. And that was that was great. Now we need to ask one question because many friends, many people in Japan admire France and French food. <laughs> so how is it coming living in France, coming to Japan? How's the food for you guys? So good, <laughs> delicious everywhere. Delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have tried lots of uh, different foods like uh, Nyoza, Okonomiyaki, okonomi yaki, Yakitori, yakitori, Ramen and uh, Sushi, Sushi also. France, the only Japanese food which is spread all over the world is the sushi and you don't really know the other kind of uh, Japanese people uh, which exist and we were really surprised that uh, you had so much diversity in the food actually. So what is the biggest difference between Japan and Poland? Lifestyle, culture, um, food, of course. <laughs> what do you think, like, what stood out for you is like, we don't do that in Poland, for example? We don't, we are not so friendly, yeah? we, are, we are more uh, like, like closed yeah? and not open-minded and uh, uh, yeah, they look uh, in your eyes, uh, they smile and really they, they like to be in touch yeah? with, uh, with me, so it's, it's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, biggest difference between Japan and India? Yeah. There are lots of buildings here, so much tall. <laughs> and they have um, advanced technology than India. Metro, yeah, subway is uh, very complicated. We don't have metro in Poland. No? No, we don't have metro. We have only two lines in Warsaw, in capital. Ooh. And here is, I don't know, 100 lines or even more. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the huge difference here. Yeah. We have a vast network of metro in Delhi, uh, in Mumbai also. What do you think is the biggest difference between Germany and Japan? Like one thing you'd think is definitely very, very different. Maybe expressiveness in some sort of way. Like if you, if you look around here, you can see that there are so many different people, like people that are very conservative and people that are very outgoing. And I think in Germany, most people have like, uh, there is a normalized or generalized um, uh, standard of clothing or some. The H&M culture. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. I'm, I'm one of them away. Well, as well, so okay, <laughs> but that's it. I, I think that's it. So, what do you think, in your opinion, is the biggest difference between Australia and Japan? On the biggest thing we've noticed is in the streets and the traffic, not not a lot of noise, no people beeping horns. It's it's very quiet. Everybody goes about their business very quietly. Um, we're in Melbourne and Cairns. It's yeah, you, there's lots and lots of noise where it seems to be very quiet here. It's very relaxing. Same thing, very quiet. Very yeah, quiet. very organised. Very clean. Mexico and Japan, if you compare them, what's the biggest difference? Values. Values? Yeah. Okay, which values do you think are different? The, the respect. More respectful than in Mexico. Really, really. So respect, you yeah. said. People are in here are kind of like, I don't know how to describe it but with other words, but shy. 
they don't really like uh, physical contact and that. And in my country, it's that not. It's not that we don't respect the personal space, but it's like it's not something uh, taken as serious as in here. So yeah, I think that's like one of the biggest difference. What's the biggest difference between France and Japan? Uh, people in Japan are more more open mind, and in France, uh, people are more closed mind. So everyone is like. Uh, not good uh, when they look at you, they tell you bad things, uh, uh, insult you. I don't like it, so when I'm in Japan, everyone is like, oh, kirei, kirei, uh, kawaii, and I, I never get uh, bad uh, returns. Mm. Oh, I know what you mean. Like in Europe, you just to explain this to people from other countries, in Europe what happens when you sometimes walk down the street, people will say negative things out loud, yeah. right? Probably with your hair or something as well. Right? <laughs> But I don't care because I think I don't need to, to dress like everyone wants me want to. to dress like yes, that's it. Yeah, but no, in Japan people usually generally say positive things, they won't say negative things, which is a big thing there. Good, well those were actually all the questions. Thank you so much for your time. People compared their country and they compared it with Japan. And uh, you've, you've seen that. I'm just going to add what I can compare with Germany and Japan. Generally, what I can see here, the trains, oh my God, they're so great. They are on time. That, however, on the other way in Germany, we have the Autobahn where you can like totally like drive with no speed limit. Well, in Japan, like the fastest you can really go is like 100 kilometers, which is not that fast. I mean, people do drive faster, but they don't drive that fast on the streets, which, which surprised me. But now I'm used to it. So I probably if I go back to next time to Germany, I'll get a bit of a reverse culture shock because people drive so fast. It's actually kind of dangerous. So the trains are on time, but the working conditions here are quite a lot, a lot tougher than back in Germany. There are also less holidays. We have more holidays in Germany and less more holidays here. Uh, there's lots of unpaid overtime and things like that, but they're trying to change that in Japan right now as well. People are smaller, which I think is a good thing because, oh my God, why are Germans so tall? I was always the smallest girl in class and I, I'm like, you know, 160 centimeters. Why am I always the smallest in old school years? Oh God, the trauma. Let's cut to a different scene. What I can find is Japanese people, in comparison, are very, very food conscious. I mean, we all love food, generally, in wherever you're from, but they're very, very food conscious. They, they really, really gourmets. They will go to different places and stand in line for up to two, three hours just to get something nice. They're very, very conscious of good food, where good food happens, where you can get good food. They make great food, very, very food conscious. And in contrast, in Germany, we are more um, food conscious in a, love, in a different level about the ingredients. So is it organic, uh, the eggs free range, stuff like that. So we pay more attention to actually the ingredients and if they actually come from a good environment and don't have too many, you know, uh, ingredients in the ingredients, you know, additives and stuff like that. So, so we pay great attention to that instead. So both of bit things. I must say, I really struggle getting free range eggs here in Japan is one of the things that people don't pay so much attention to. But on the other side, the food is still so tasty. <laughs> How can you say no? So yeah, a couple of things comparing Japan and Germany. If there's anything you would like to add from your country, but different in your country in comparison to Japan, let us know in the box below. Looking forward to reading your comments and seeing what you think. Also look at each other's comments and don't forget to comment on each other's comments. It's always nice to see you guys start a conversation there. Hope you have a lovely day. Catch you soon on Ash Japanese. Bye.